Hello everyone. This is Wanda. I am currently a customly product designer. Today's video will focusing on customly template. We will introduce the three stage of template buildings. The first stage is product file. The second stage is preview setting, and the third stage is template preview. And I will also mention the size setting in the stage one and stage two, and also the background setting at stage two. Okay, let's begin. So let's first talk about the three stage of product template uh, building. So you might feel familiar with this template. I have also used it as a teaching material from previous video. This is the me and my puppy template. It contains a um, a girl girl body, the pants, the clothes, the pads, the hairstyle, a background which is the leaf in the ground, and also two text box. And then the product should be like this. It's a clothes and um, it's a t-shirt and the, the image will contain on the t-shirt. And then, what is this three stage? You might have noticed in the template building interface, the right, right top corner, there is a small title. The title here is named stage one over three, production file setting. And then if you finish your template, you go to the next. There is another, the title has been refreshed. It's now stage two over three, review, preview setting. And you have noticed for the preview setting, there is a um, image background, which is our basic t-shirt image. And then the third stage, again, click next. And you will go to the third stage, which is stage three over three template review. And in this interface, you will see two, uh, two pictures. The left side is the production file. The right side is the preview. How do you understand those two things, the production file and the preview? So preview is actually the image you will show to the audience, to the users, the client, sorry, the users in the website. So this is the website and this is the image that you show to the customer. And the customer could choose those um, like the skin color, the pictures and the hairs and you, he, they will see the change after they have select different buttons, they will see the change in this image. This image is called preview image. Then what is the production? So like what I mean is basically the image here, the preview, which is the stage, which is the stage two, everything you see in stage two will be the same as the one you see in the website page. Then what is the production file? So production file is actually the things you will give to the um, the supplier, the people who help you to print all these things to the clothes. Like just imagine, like you, um, the product is actually a blank white T-shirt, and after user have chosen all the settings they want, they might want a, you know, blue clothes and the pad they have probably is a white dog. And then um, they might like champagne, so they choose champagne. And then that's the picture they want to print to the clothes. And then we need this picture and we need to develop, uh, uh, deliver it to the uh, supplier and let the supplier print these to the clothes. And this is the picture we will give to them. It's called production file. And after the uh, user have finished the settings and click purchase, uh, go through all the process, this file will be generated um, in the Shopify and we could give it to then give it to the uh, supplier. So summarize the three stage. First stage is the production file. Let's go back to first stage. The production file, which is the file you will give to the supplier. Second stage is the uh, preview setting, which is the 
um, which will have the images we will show in the website. And the third stage is a preview, uh, is a review of preview to stage. So next, we will talk about the size setting in stage one and two. Um, since this is the image that you will going to print in the t-shirt, let's see, like the t white basic t-shirt, a support deck designer, you probably has the basic knowledge of what this size could be. Like, it could be like 25 to 35 centimeter. So let's go back to the template. Here you can see um, in the title of this template, there is a mark of the size, which is 300 times 300 millimeter. And you could change the size. Here is a resize button. You could change the width and height, and also unit. It could be millimeter or inch or pixel. But like, you better try millimeter or inch if you're gonna print it to like physically uh, exist stuff. Okay, my setting is 300 times 300 millimeter. And the next stage, which is the preview setting stage, since this is the picture that you're gonna show in the website, the unit will definitely be pixel. And my setting here is 100 times 100 pixel, and you could change it. So let's say we reset the preview. And we start from beginning. Um, as you can see, this is the building function they customly provide to you. It has a preview width and preview height. You can decide the width and height. Um, the maximum will be 1200, if I wasn't wrong. So like this is the maximum number, maximum pixel that you could show. So set the background. So right now the um the size of the image will be twelve hundred times twelve hundred pixel. And that's the size of the image showing in the website. Start. The last thing I wanna talk about is the background setting at the stage two, which is the preview setting stage. So as you can notice, right now our current preview setting stage, the background is white color. Um, and where do we get this white color is when we set, when we do reset preview, when we, ch there's two button here, use background image or use background color. And in here, the default one is use background color. And the default color is pure white. And you could change it to other color, as you could see. And then, for example, if I choose this very light yellow, that will be the image background. And then what we expect for this product is actually this picture is the t-shirt image. So what you're going to do is to click use background image, upload background image, and upload this t-shirt image that it's supposed to have. That's what we expect. And then all the images, we expect it to be, uh, stay at the right position. Let's do it like this. And of course you probably want to Rotate it a little bit so it looks more real on the clothes, like this. And then the final view will be like this. So summarize um, the background setting thing. At the preview setting stage, we're going to show the um, the image that I'm gonna show in the website and this image should contain a a background showing our product and in our case 
is the background with t-shirt image. So we need to upload the t-shirt background at the second stage. Does this image showing also on the first stage? No, like the second stage is just for users, uh, the customer preview. And one last thing about template is every change you apply to the template, no matter it's at stage one or stage two or stage three, they will not be automatically saved. You're going to save it manually. And it's not like if you finish stage one and you click next, you go to stage two, then the stage one since has been saved. You actually need to go through all three stage and save the template. Then the change or like the layers you, you added to the template could be saved. So always remember to save your template manually. This is everything today. Thank you for watching. And do uh, send me a comment below this video if you have any questions.